News Home More from UK News Saturday June 2, 2018 10 16 pm Share on Facebook Share on Messenger Share on Messenger Share on Twitter Share on WhatsApp Video Player 2020000 colon 000 colon 000 colon 000 Use up slash down arrow keys to increase or decrease volume. Cosmetics company Lush has said it has taken its controversial campaign down from some shops due to intimidation of its staff by ex-police officers. The company sparked outrage over its latest ad campaign that claimed police have been paid to lie. Lush said it would continue with the Spy Cops campaign even despite not feeling able to have it in the windows of some of their shops. Whilst intimidation of our shop staff from ex-police officers and unhelpful tweets from those in high office are ongoing, not all of our shops feel able today to have the campaign window in their shops, it said in a statement. However the campaign is still running for three weeks and we will be constantly weighing up what to do about the situation. The pool-based firm said on Friday that the campaign aims to highlight the current lack of progress of the undercover policing inquiry and the granting of anonymity to key police witnesses. Display windows of its stores have been decorated with police tape, stating, Police have crossed the line. A split image of a man, one half with a police helmet on, another without the helmet, has the tagline paid to lie. The company also released a video saying that activists had been spied on for taking a stand. Lush faced backlash on social media over the campaign, while the police federation called it an insult to the hard work, professionalism and dedication of police officers throughout the UK. Some customers said they would stop shopping at Lush as a result, while social media users described the shop windows as misjudged and offensive for vilifying a public service. John Duncan tweeted that the campaign was misguided at best, nasty at worst. More than 30 complaints were submitted to the Advertising Standards Authority ASA, about the campaign. A spokeswoman for the Spy Cops campaign said it had been taken completely out of context and they were not accusing police of lying. An inquiry into undercover policing, launched in 2015, is looking at the work of a special demonstration squad, the National Public Order Intelligence Unit and police forces across England and Wales. It is expected to begin hearing evidence next year, and will continue to do so for around two years. Copyright Sky News 2018 Share Share on Facebook Share on Messenger Share on Messenger Share on Twitter Share on WhatsApp More from UK News Some Sinn Féin voters backed up on abortion laws. Arlene Foster claims Arlene Foster says some Sinn Féin supporters have told her they will vote up because of her party's position on abortion. PM pays tribute to London Bridge victims and heroes on anniversary of terror attack Britain's resolve against terror has never been stronger, the Prime Minister has said, as she remembered the victims and paid tribute to those who intervened during the London Bridge attack a year ago today. Peckham double shooting, police impose Section 60 emergency search powers Two men have been shot in southeast London, with one in a critical condition, as police imposed emergency stop and search powers in the area.